it has been a monumental week in American politics, and we are not done yet. We start with your exclusive huge interview overnight. This thing came together very quickly late yesterday. Of course, it was a day after Michael Cohen received his three-year prison sentence, which he says was the worst day of his life. And then those attacks from President Trump started early yesterday morning and continued throughout the day. At some point, Cohen, who wasn't planning to speak out, felt he had to respond. Now, there are some things he can't answer because he's still cooperating with prosecutors, but he directly contradicts President Trump's claims about those hush money payments to porn star Stormy Daniels and playmate Karen McDougal. And as you'll see, he is emotional, remorseful, and determined to tell what he says is the truth about President Trump. Michael, thank you for doing this. George, good to see you. Emotional day in court uh, yesterday, and, and I was struck by that line you had. You said you felt like you have your freedom back. Yes. How does it feel today? Like I have my freedom back. Though I have to be honest, it's been very rough you know, to be before the court with my family in attendance, my mother, my father, my wife, my children, my sisters, my brother, my niece, cousins, friends. It was, um, it was a very rough day. And then you wake up today, and the president's tweeting from very early uh, in the morning. Uh, several different things. What struck me most is his claim that um, you, you agreed to this plea deal for this reason, he said. Those charges were just agreed to him by him in order to embarrass the president and get a much reduced prison sentence. I know which tweets you're talking about. First of all, it's absolutely not true. Um, I did not do it to embarrass the president. He knows the truth. I know the truth. Many people know the truth. Under no circumstances do I want to embarrass the president of the United States of America. The truth is, I told the truth. I took responsibility for my actions. And instead of him taking responsibility for his actions, what does he do? He attacks my family. And after yesterday, again, being before the court and taking the responsibility and receiving a sentence of 36 months, the, the only thing he can do is to tweet about my family. He said in the tweets, he repeated in an interview later on, that basically he says, his claim, uh, you're lying about him to protect your wife, to protect your father. Inaccurate. He knows the truth. I know the truth. Others know the truth. And here is the truth. The people of the United States of America, the people of the world, don't believe what he's saying. The man doesn't tell the truth. And it's sad that I should take responsibility for his dirty deeds. You lied for him for a long time. More than 10 years. Why? Out of loyalty. Out of loyalty to him. I followed a bad path. And hence how we started this conversation. I, I have my freedom. And I will not be the villain, as I told you once before. I will not be the villain of his story. He's saying very clearly that he never directed you to do anything wrong. Is that true? I don't think there's anybody that believes that. First of all, nothing at the Trump Organization was ever done unless it was run through Mr. Trump. He directed me, as I said in my allocution, and I said as well in the plea, he directed me to make the payments. He directed me to become involved in these matters, uh, including the one with McDougal, which was really between him and David Pecker, and then David Pecker's counsel. I just reviewed the documents in order to protect him. I gave loyalty to someone who truthfully does not deserve loyalty. He was trying to hide what you were doing, correct? Correct. And he knew it was wrong? Of course. And he was doing that to help his election? He, you have to remember at what point in time that this matter came about, two weeks or so before the election, post the Billy Bush comments. So yes, he was very concerned about how this would affect the election. To help his campaign. To help him and the campaign. You mentioned dirty deeds in your allocution uh, yesterday. When you think about it, when you look back, did you know what you were doing? I'm angry wrong? at myself because I knew what I was doing was wrong. I stood up before the world yesterday and I accepted the responsibility for my actions. 
the actions that I gave to a man who, as I also said in my elocution, I was loyal to. I should not be the only one taking responsibility for his actions. So he's still lying? Yes. Do you know why you were loyal to him at the beginning? No. No. It was a blind loyalty. It was to a man I, I admired, but I, I do not know the answer to it. And I'm angry at myself. My family is disappointed that they have taught me, my mother, father, right from wrong, and I didn't display good judgment. You call it blind loyalty. The prosecutors seem to suggest it was, uh, Southern District prosecutors, I should add, seem to suggest it was you were being driven by greed and ambition. No, that's inaccurate. But again, I took responsibility for my actions, but I didn't make my money working for Donald Trump. I had made a substantial amount of money years before working for Donald Trump. And anybody who knows me knows that to be the truth. So what do you say to people, and you know, there are a lot of people who would be watching who are gonna be thinking, but wait a second, he lied for so long, why should we believe him now? What's the answer what, to that? What do you mean lied? Lied about what? At the Trump Organization, it's a microcosm of even just the New York real estate market. What do we lie about? It's New York real estate. Yes, it's the greatest product ever created. Is that a lie? Well, but you pleaded guilty to lying to Congress. Yes. So why should we believe you now? Because the special counsel stated emphatically that the information that I gave to them was credible and helpful. There's a substantial amount of information that they possess that corroborates the fact that I am telling the truth. So you're done with the lying? I am done with the lying. I am done being loyal to President Trump and my first loyalty belongs to my wife, my daughter, my son, and this country. You know, that's what he first said to me back in July. It wasn't on camera, and as I said, he, he is still cooperating with prosecutors, so there's, there's a lot of things he can't talk about right now, but he clearly felt that he just had to come out after those attacks from the president yesterday and say something. I mean, he still you know, uh, cooperate with the special counsel, so like you said, there's a lot he can't say, but he did say a lot in that. It seemed like he's seemingly doubling down on his claims from before. Well, no, no question about it.